Well, the palace has a, um, a, a, an IT department, um, and um, um, they are continuously tested by the early adoption gang. And the early adoption gang of technology here is actually the family. Um, we, we hear about, we're very fortunate, we hear about, we go and visit, and we see new technologies, and we see new opportunities, and we bring them back and say, right, okay, now let's see how we can apply this. We, we tend to be the early adopters of new technology. So the iPad is well and truly uh, in the family. Uh, mobile phones have been in the family for a long time. Um, we, we are less uh, users of what I would describe as social networks just because of the complications of social networks. But Yammer is an interesting one, bearing in mind it's a closed social network. Um, and we use that, and I've used that, um, for seminars and, and forums that I hold uh, here. So we, we invite everybody so that they can carry on the conversation afterwards. And is this a, a generational thing, or uh, are all members of the royal family uh, equally involved in, in using the new technology? Well, I passed a man from a company that shall remain nameless, who has just given a presentation to the Duke of Edinburgh this morning on a new um, 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 computer system. So uh, I think that's, um, that shows that it's, it's not generational in the sense that, that he's just as keen as everybody else to, to, to adopt new technology. So uh, a man in his 90s is, is getting to grips with the very latest in the digital age. Well, you know, but you see, when you think about it, <laughs> we go back to CFAX now. Now, most people will have forgotten that name, which was something that came out of the BBC 30 years ago. He was probably the first person to use it. So, I mean, he was an early adopter of technology a long, long time ago. So, finally, it's important that this is a high-tech family because these are the issues of the day. These are very much the issues of today, and I think that, that, that just by shining a little light on Tech City will hopefully give people the encouragement and the knowledge that the UK is a leading, in fact, one of the leading countries in the world in high-tech, um, is probably still one of the best places, if not the best place, to learn and do science and engineering. And all these things tie in to the future.